Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. In today's video we're taking a look at the final member of the Headmaster Juniors brought to us by Fans Hobby. This is Cap based on his official counterpart Cab. Absolutely adore how this guy looks. Uh, Cab was a strange little guy in Master Force. Didn't he spend most of his time in his treehouse? <laughs> it's been a while. But I've started uh, re-watching Headmasters and Master Force as well. because so I've been getting these in and my kids are like, I don't recognise those. Who are these? Who are these? Is, is that Inferno? I was like, no, 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 no. I need, I need to school you. So <laughs> we've been watching the originals. Uh, I've just finished the episode where Ginrai's been training with these guys and he's uh, hurt his shoulder and he's now about to go and face off against Black Sarak and Overlord. So uh, yeah, we're nearly there, getting there slowly but surely. But anyway, I'm digressing. This is of course Cap. He is the fire engine, he's a headmaster junior, and the uh, trans transtector, as the transtector form, is the fire engine. And we've got all of those gorgeous figures on the side there. And they just teased us new images of their tidal wave, as well as overload to go with their armada line. So, Fans Hobby, you are knocking it out of the park. Out of the box, we get a set of instructions. Uh, mine says Ace Hitter. <laughs> I don't think that's meant to say that. Uh, but we've got placement for all of those stickers. So I'll try and get those placed up on him before we get him on the turntable. Uh, instructions are fairly straightforward. And as always with Fans Hobby, they are incredibly clear, precise and easy to follow. Uh, let's take a look at his collector's card. Here we go, and those are the stickers as well. I probably won't use the license plates ones. I'll probably wait for someone like Toy Hacks to do those, but I'll definitely give these ones a go and so we can allocate them accordingly. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. As you can see there, I've put a little Headmaster Junior in the driving seat. He's uh, driving a little fire truck. I've applied all the stickers. I haven't flicked the wing mirrors out though, have I? Silly me. He rolls lovely. I've transformed him a couple of times. Transformation is nice and smooth. Fairly straightforward. I'll still guide you through it nonetheless, but it's pretty darn easy. And I've already taken this guy down and I popped him in with my display just to see how he'd look with the others. Uh, of course, I will get them out for a comparison, but <laughs> Oh, he looks so, so good. Uh, levels of detailing on him are sublime. Not too much, but just enough to kind of make him pop. Definitely a welcome addition to my Master Force collection. For those curious about rolling, yep, rolls really nicely. Wheels are really nice and smooth. Uh, we have weapons stored inside here. And then we have his helmet. Uh, it's just stored in the back here he says come on out you come there we go that's where the helmet section is stored and then if we just pop down the front windscreen section look at that that is absolutely sublime i don't think i've transformed something i don't think i've squared off his hips enough because uh, he's not quite tabbing at the top here, but that's due to the hips here kind of pushing up against it. I think it's his hip skirts that I've done incorrectly. But let's just uh, pop these mirrors out. There we go. And uh, pop the mirror out. Fabulous. Now, of course, scale-wise, he does scale somewhat differently with the rest of the MP line. I've grabbed a couple of MPs off of my shelf. It's more of that kind of animation inspired look as opposed to the realism. So I'm actually okay with how that looks. That's a thumbs up from me. Now before we get him transformed up, let's just see what else he can do. We do have the kind of extending ladder section here, which slides out. I think it slides out even further than that. We've got an additional extension piece in there which can slide like this. We've got quite a nice 
range on there. Then we've got the hoses, which can be adjusted. So slide that down, slide that back. Uh, we're going to want to get the weapon out. So just, come on, he is stuck in there quite firm and fast. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. And we can get our headmaster out. And we can just open up this back piece. Now we can get this small section out as well. Right, you want to uh, open these. This pit here is going to fold, and that's going to fold back on itself on the double hinge. This piece here is going to fold again back on itself, double hinge. And then these are going to lift, these are going to lift. This is going to untab from these panels here. And that's going to lift all the way up. And you can see these are going to form the legs. You want to separate these out. The feet are going to come down like this. Whilst this is out of the way, this piece here can be brought inwards. And same on this side, so you want to bring this down, bring these inwards, like so. The wheels are on sliding hinges, so lift it up, rock that hinge backwards, like so, and tuck that in. Same on this side, lift this hinge up, rock that hinge backwards, and bring that in, like so. This part here is going to flatten which allows this piece here to come inwards and rotate. So we now have a foot at the bottom of that leg and then the shin panel can then rock back in like so, squaring up and allowing the front of the cab to come inwards. And you wanna just push and compress these knees. So. There we go, that one's done. Do the same for this side. Expand these feet to give them a larger surface area, like so. These panels here are going to detach and come away like this. This is going to rock backwards and this hinge here folds in on itself. This then comes in and we can move these arms out of the way. This comes inwards like so. And if you look here, that's gonna slide into that void and tab in. So same on this side, untab this, bring this out, bring this around, slide this arm down, bring this inwards, upwards, and tab, flip this piece around and locate that and then bring this section here inwards, locating that in also. Same on this side, flip the white panel upwards, flip this top panel inwards and locate, and bring these shoulders around. These parts here, gonna flip, and that's going to flip. This is going to come up like so. This comes up, over, and around to the other side. Flip this top panel up, revealing the insides, and then push and collapse that panel down and bring that back off. Straighten up this back panel. These are gonna flip inwards. That's gonna flip in like so. These are going to come up and over, and this is going to hoik upwards. And as we bring these down, like so, these are going to collapse. This is going to Like 
going up. And then these are going to come up and just go over that latch. So again, on this side, this is going to come up and just go over that latch. Like so, squaring all of that off. Rotate the waist around. Uh, we haven't already extend that arm, extend that arm. Rotate the fists. Rotate the fists like so. Is this all leveled up? Yep, there we go, that's in. That's where it should be, that's where it should be. Like so, and like so. Just give the ankles a little bit of a tilt. And then we can just get our head unit. And that's gonna fold back on itself, back on itself. Oh, there we go, tidying up and then this is just going to slide in like this and then we want to just pop his head down you can then open up His weapon by extending that like so, sliding it into the set groove on the hand, and there we have him. And here we have him fully transformed up. And doesn't he look absolutely sublime? Just something about I don't know, he is by far my favorite of the bunch, and I've been saying this as we go along. Uh, but I think they've done the best job with him. I'm glad that he's come out last. Really sublime looking piece. He just looks sensational. Looks very much like his animation counterpart with fantastic nods towards that original toy. I'll include some uh, pictures along the side here of what the original looked like in comparison to his animation counterpart as well uh, really great sculpt fabulous build it's just something very dynamic about the way he compose uh, definitely one of my favorites thus far really looking forward to seeing what else they can give us and wondering if they're going to give us any of the decepticon headmaster juniors as well i posted about that on my facebook page but my oh my what a gorgeous little chappy he's just got so much character hasn't he <laughs> this is ruddy awesome oh oh absolutely adore it articulation wise he is jam-packed head and go up down left and right rotate side to side we do have this which is activated when we push the head down which is fabulous uh shoulders up down left right butterfly joints although they do work in reverse would like them to be able to brought that shoulder forward as well there is a double jointed hinge on the elbow although you can't really get full use of that range due to those really awesome chunky forearms rotation on the wrist and there's finger articulation as well waist can rotate mind these hip skirts abdominal crunch as well really really welcome on figures like this hip skirts to the front allow for legs to come this far forwards and that far backwards out to the side there's an upper thigh rotation there is a bend at two points on that knee and we have pivot on those ankles as well as up and down so we get a really nice wide stance and the dude can really hold pose just look at that face sculpt though that is absolutely sublime best sculpt they've done to date in my opinion of course and finally i thought i'd show you him in his natural habitat that's kind of where i'm going to have him alongside these dudes and then we've got some of the headmasters up on that top shelf and septicon ones 
are over there. And I've got a little void here, so in case I get some more of them, and I'll do them in vehicle mode. I actually got donated a detail, uh, needs a good clean. Uh, so I need to wash the shelves, but I thought I'd quickly stick everything out so you can see exactly how it's all going to look. That's a really fine scale, in my opinion. They all look fabulous with Ginrai. There we go, I think that's probably the easiest way of showing them all off. Hope you've all found this video useful. If you have, feel free to go to big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. Highly recommend these figures. If you haven't already played with them, please go out and do so. They are incredibly well done. And until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, goodbye.